Hello everyone, my name is Addie and today I just have a quick, very energizing flow for you all. I would recommend warming up a little bit before we begin, just getting our body nice and warm, our heart rate up a little bit. We have a lot of core work in there today, a lot of planks, side planks, we'll have some fun, I'll spin in some balance work with Bird of Paradise, so make sure you are modifying to fit your own body and your own practice. Other than that, let's go ahead and begin. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's begin by finding ourselves at standing in mountain pose, bringing our attention to our posture, our shoulders down and away from our ears, our chest nice and open, our palms open towards the front of the room, just rooting down through our feet, taking some deep breaths in and out. On the next inhale, we'll sweep both hands high above our head, reaching in, drawing in all that good oxygen, and exhale, palms meet together at heart center. Moving inhale upwards, and exhale through heart center. Take a few more of these, inhaling, reaching up, drawing in all that good energy, and exhaling, flowing through heart center. Next inhale, we'll reach the hands up so we're reversing the movement and exhaling down to either side. So as we come up through center, we're pulling all that air up and exhale, pressing it out. One more inhale and rise. And as we exhale, go ahead and fold all the way down, finding a forward fold here, bending into the knees. And as we inhale, we'll take a little halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Continue just a few flowing movements here. Coming up halfway and then folding down. Maybe you begin to straighten out your knees a little more every time. Just giving our bodies a little bit of a warm up, a stretch through the hamstrings, engaging through the shoulders. Really rolling our shoulders along our spine as we lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. We'll go ahead and plant our hands on the mat here so we can step back one foot at a time, finding plank. And hold strong here, finding that nice flat line in your body. Your shoulders come right over your wrists. We're gonna begin to find some movement here. So as we take an inhale, we'll hinge forward just a few inches. And as we exhale, pressing back into the heels. Coming forward and back, staying strong. Forward and back. We'll take one more forward, and as we come back, we'll go ahead and send our hips up high, taking a down dog here. Go ahead and set your position, bending into one knee and then the other. Taking a deep breath in and rising up high on both toes. Exhale as heels come down a little bit closer to the mat. Bending into our knees a little more this time and really pressing our chest towards our thighs opening up our shoulders a little bit more. On the next inhale, we'll go ahead and send our right leg up high. And as we exhale, just tapping the toe down on the mat. So inhale and lift. Exhale and tap down, seeing if we can keep our hips as square as possible. So the only thing moving here is our leg. And tap. And lift. This time, go ahead and hold there. We'll bend into the knee, stack the hips on top of each other. So now we can open up that hip, getting a big stretch here. And gently release. Next inhale, that left leg will go up high. And tap it down. Reach it up. And down. 
pressing through the hands, reaching up and down. On this one, we'll go ahead and stay up, bending into that knee, opening up the hip. Pressing through our hands and our shoulders. And as we release, that knee will come all the way through, stepping the left foot up in between the hands, and the right foot will come to meet at forward fold. Take an inhale and halfway lift, drawing the energy all the way through the fingertips and fold inhaling bending through the knees rolling the body all the way up taking a deep breath in exhale as we meet at heart center inhale and reach and exhale sinking the weight back into our heels our hips lower finding a chair pose with the arms cactus sinking a little lower we take a breath and we'll rise up just an inch or two as we exhale, we'll come down a little bit lower. One more lift. And lower, we'll go ahead and take a fold. Halfway lift. Planting the hands, go ahead and step or hop back. Find plank. Holding strong here. Deep breath in, stay strong. And as we exhale, we'll go ahead and bring our hips up high, finding our down dog. Walking it out a few times here. On the next inhale, we'll go ahead and send our right leg up high behind us. Exhale as we pull it strong into the chest. Inhale and extend back. And into the chest, our shoulders come right over our wrists. Extend into the chest and this time hold here our right knee will tap to the outside of our right shoulder and to the left elbow or shoulder whatever you want to aim for to the right and to the left to the right and this time hold on the left option for variation here would be to send the right leg across your body bringing the weight into your right hand and opening the left towards the ceiling Go ahead and find our way right back to center. Step that left foot up to meet the right. And fold. Halfway lift. Let it go, then slowly roll ourselves all the way back up to standing. And exhale, hands meet at heart center. Inhale and reach. Finding our chair pose. An inch up and an inch down. An inch up and down one more a little bit higher and exhale release forward fold halfway lift plant the hands step or hop back and find plank and then down dog next inhale sends the left leg high and pull that knee into the chest and send it high into the chest we've got one more here stay strong send it high into the chest and hold here drawing the knee to the right and to the left to the right and to the left one more each side right and left pull that knee into the chest option for variation will be to send the left leg across to the right side of our body bringing the weight into the left hand and sending the right high. And as we return to center, we'll step that left foot right between the hands and the right foot comes up to meet the left at the top of the mat. Halfway lift and fold, circle sweep the arms, rolling our bodies all the way up, meeting at heart center. Inhale and reach. Sinking our hips low into the chair. Maybe we take a peek down and see if we can see our toes beneath our knees. Exhale and release, fold. This time we'll go ahead and plant our hands. Finding plank so you can step or hop. We're gonna keep our elbows into our sides as we slowly, slowly lower ourselves all the way down to our bellies. 
And as we take our next breath in, we'll lift our chest off the mat, pressing the tops of our feet down, engaging through our lower back for baby cobra. One more deep breath in and gently release hands press into the mat tucking the toes reverse push up straight back to plank and exhale down dog inhale high on the toes and bottom of the exhale walk or hop feet up to the hands halfway lift fold circle sweep the arms all the way up reach up tall meeting at heart center deep breath in and chair pose an inch up and fold halfway lift plant the hands step or hop back find plank lowering ourselves all the way down to our bellies inhale baby cobra lift the chest Exhale and release, reverse push-up, find plank. And down dog. We'll go ahead and flow through two more times. So stepping or hopping up to our forward fold. Taking the same flow, but if you like to move through a full vinyasa or chaturanga, now is your chance. Always feel free to modify and take the variation we've already been doing. Inhale, an inch up, and lower. Here comes our vinyasa, so go ahead and step or hop back. Find plank. Hinge forward a little, and exhale as we pull the elbows in lower halfway. Inhale, the upward facing dog, and exhale, the downward facing dog. One more time, rise high on the toes. Bottom of the exhale, walk or hop, feet to the hands and halfway lift, fold. Rolling through the body, taking our flow here. Maybe we take a little back bend, it's up to you. Reach the hands up then sink down into our chair. Maybe we come a little bit lower this time. An inch higher and release. Flow through your vinyasa, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or hop back. Lower halfway. Upward facing, pressing the shoulders down and away. Hips lift and down dog. Walking our feet out here a little bit, getting comfortable. Inhale, the right leg rises. Pull it into the chest. And extend back. Into the chest. One more, extend back, into the chest, extend back and hold up here, bending into that knee, getting a big hip opener. If you like to flip your dog over and send your hips up high, now's your chance. If you flip your dog, let's go ahead and find our way right back to center, sending our right leg high and pulling it into our chest. The right knee will go to the right side of our body and to the outside of our left. One more to the right and to the left. Option one, extend it out. Take the same variation we did last time, like I'm showing here. Or level two, we can rotate into a side plank, lifting that leg. Maybe you choose to keep the knee bent or extend. It's up to you. Nice. Finding your way back to center and stepping the left up to meet the right. Halfway lift and fold. Circle sweep the arms all the way up. Maybe you take a little bit of a deeper back bend this time. And hands meet a heart center. Deep breath in. And chair a little bit lower. Holding our core in tight. And release forward fold. Halfway lift. Planting our hands and flowing through our chaturanga. Everyone meets in down dog from whatever vinyasa you choose. Next inhale, the left leg will go high behind us. 
pulling it into our chest and back into the chest stay strong through the shoulders and back one more into the chest stay strong and back this time we'll go ahead and bend the knee maybe you flip your dog all the way over if that's for you if you choose you're stepping the left foot behind the right opening up through the chest pressing your hips up towards the ceiling or the sky all right if you flip your dog let's find our way back to center pulling that knee into our chest again and the knee comes the outside of our left side of our body and to the right to the left to the right and find your variation here whatever you choose Go and gently find our way back to center, stepping our left foot up and then our right, meeting in our forward fold. Halfway lift and fold, bending through the knees, reaching all the way up, little back bend and the heart center. We'll go ahead and sink down and find our chair and hold here this time. We'll go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. We're gonna find a twist on over to the left side of our body. So bringing the outside of our right elbow to the outside of our left knee and finding a big twist. Placing enough pressure into the left leg that we can step the right foot back. Finding a twisted lunge here. Maybe we open the arms. And if you choose lifting all the way up, maybe that left hand even comes to the back of the right thigh for a big stretch here. Gently releasing and squaring off our hips towards the front of the room. We'll take a deep breath in and as we exhale, lunging down into that back knee. Inhale and reach up and lower. One more up. And this time as we lower hold here, we're gonna round out our upper back forward. And as we inhale, pull in all that energy, our hands come back by our shoulders forward and back. Find your own little flow here, drawing in all that good breath. Rotating the heel of the right foot down to the mat and opening up for a warrior two. Inhale and reverse the warrior. Exhale, warrior two. And go ahead and bring the left elbow to the left knee. Find side angle. Holding that same foundation in our legs as we come back and reverse our warrior. And coming right back to our side angle. So feel free to stay here and stay strong. Or if you like, we can come into a half bind or a full bind. And for those of you wanting to work on Bird of Paradise, now is your chance. Hopping the right foot up to meet the left. Securing the hands behind the leg. And gently lifting slowly all the way up. And for the full extension, extending the left leg at the top here. If you're in bird, let's gently release. Always feel free to pause the video and do some practicing on your own time. But we'll go ahead and shoot that left leg back. Maybe you keep it lifted as you flow through your vinyasa. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and rise high on both toes. Bottom of the exhale, walk or hop feet to the hands. Halfway lift and fold. Circle sweep all the way up. Find your flow. We'll go ahead and take the same flow on the other side. So sinking down and finding chair. And then taking that twist on over towards the right side, pressing the palms in towards one another, pulling the belly button into the spine. We're always initiating the twist from the navel. So stepping that left foot back, finding our twisted lunge. Inhale, we open the arms and lift our chest. Maybe our right hand comes to the back of our left thigh. 
gently releasing and squaring ourselves off towards the front of the room. Deep breath in and exhale as we lunge down into that back knee. And reach up and lower. Up and lower. Go ahead and round out forward and pulling all that good energy back. Round out forward and exhale, opening up one more forward and open all the way up to our warrior two on this side. So left heel spins down, inhale and reverse warrior, exhale warrior two and inhale right elbow to right knee side angle. One more time, find your reverse warrior. And settling down into our side angle, here's your chance if you'd like to take a bind or bird of paradise. Totally up to you. So again, taking one or a couple hops, that left foot up to meet the right. Slowly lifting the right knee, maybe we extend it all the way. As always, feel free to pause the video and get some more practice in. Gently finding our way back down, spinning both hands down to the floor and flowing out through your vinyasa. If you kept the left leg lifted on the other side, keep the right leg lifted this time as you flow. We'll go ahead and meet in down dog, take a couple steps out. Deep breath in, rise high on both toes. And exhale, heels to the mat. One more time, lift. And lower. We'll go ahead and step our feet wide and take a wide knee child's pose here. So sinking down into the mat. Taking a few deep breaths here. Allowing our body to absorb all that good work we just did. One more exhale, let it all go before we find ourselves in plank. We're gonna take one more flow each side. So I'm gonna pull the right knee into the chest and then find your side plank variation. All the way back through center, step the right knee between the hands. Finding your bind or half bind. If you'd like another chance for Bird of Paradise, go for it. If you wobble a little bit, that's cool. It means you're getting some work done. Gently finding our way back down and making our way to that side plank variation again. So stepping the left foot back and opening up. Gently finding our way back to plank. And left knee pulls into the chest, taking the side plank variation on this side. Stepping the left foot between the hands. Option for Bird of Paradise on this side. Find your bind or your side angle. Gently making our way back down, planting the left hand, stepping the right leg back, taking one more side plank variation. And finding plank holding here, stay strong. Deep breath in. And exhale, hips go high, find your down dog, then go ahead and drop your knees wide on the mat for a child's pose here. Taking this time to rest down into our mats. Thanking ourselves for showing up on our mats and practicing today. And I'd like to thank you all for flowing with me. I hope you had fun. Namaste.